you guys remember a couple right. years ago, I made a Shark Week show called Island of the Walking Sharks. Went to Papua New Guinea. No, mm-hmm. I've never heard of it. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Let's yeah. pretend you, you guys. You incurred $100,000 of excess baggage yes, fees. 90, yes, 90000 <laughs> yeah. I'm still, I'm still clawing my way out of that. <laughs> I'm not joking, by the way. <laughs> it's the closest I've ever come to shutting the doors on my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> and going back to being a biologist making 14 bucks an hour. <laughs> Jeez, um, man. Counting ants. But, but, um, yeah, in uh, the Brookfield Zoo... A brand Ooh. new baby epaulet shark was born. Mm. But here's the thing. First of all, Brookfield Zoo is in... Is it Chicago. In, in Chicago. Chicago right? land. In Illinois. My alma mater. Right. Here's the thing, though. This epaulet shark was born through parthenogenesis. Don't know what... Like, they, I've heard of it. Learned about it in Bio 101. Explain it. I don't know what the shark is or the term. Can you explain both, please? We've, we've talked about both of them. We'll, well, let's get into it. Uh, parthenogenesis is when... A female produces a clone of itself without ah, yes. without male reproduction. So it's pretty cool. Um, this female shark produced a fertile egg through parthenogenesis, which is what happened. Some elasmobranchs, sharks, and ray species, some lizards, a group of different animals can do it. But basically, the cells split and duplicate and create a clone Very of the cool. mother. And so, yeah, this zoo just decided, or not didn't decide, but the zoo just had a female shark do that without ever having male contact. Is this very, very atypical of, of something that sharks do? Or is this, I mean, I don't understand. Sharks, lizards, a couple, basically, not certainly not everything. Remember, wasn't, didn't we talk about a crocodile doing it? Yeah. Two yeah, months yeah, ago? yeah. Yeah. So it happens when like undue and extreme lack of sexual pressure happens on a group of animals that are capable of this. Like, I, wow. it never happened to a human, right? It just wouldn't. No, like, but that's fascinating. That. But dude. basically, imagine you're a female shark that's been trapped your entire life with no sexual stimulation, and your DNA, your evolutionary biology takes over and goes, we need to make babies. You're the last one left. There's yeah. no more. There's no male coming around. Bro, so, it, it blows they, my mind. Now, so do they, like, does she have to, like, kind of, like, get her fin down there and, like... Robert, <laughs> dude, good lord! Do what they a have clitorises? Um, clitor. Well, these these are hard questions to field. Um, <laughs> do no, I, have I, clitorises? I, I, as far as I'm aware, no in the comments, if Let you me know about shark no pleasure, involved. I mean, what, there's no pleasure in childbirth to begin with. Like, what? A, all right, it's like the worst. You gotta have some pleasure to be able to get there. So for us, but not for the sharks. Let me ask you saying. this: Do they now when they do? Is it or is it, when it's parthenogenesis, it's an exact clone of the mom, right? Correct. There's no very, they Correct. can't mix up it's the identical. DNA. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. It is. So, um, you did say just now that I forgot what I was going to say. Go on, carry on. I literally fucking just had a blank. I had I'm going to start, um, super gluing fishing weights to my t-shirts because what? every time I sit here, the fucking I dude, like I don't want my midriff exposed. No, like I the, really, really see, don't. I, I find myself on this couch sitting with my arms crossed and I saw like some people commenting like his body language is tense. <laughs> yeah, it's like no, it's the couch. <laughs> let me let me let, I let me just, know what else I'm gonna to do with my us. arms on this couch. So the last couple podcasts we did, uh, they came from your garage and people really liked them. So that was exciting. And the the comments have been just flowing on YouTube, and there's been m- like. I would say 33 and 0.3% of the comments have been about Pat's nonstop moving leg. He does do that. Just a lot. nonstop. And then somebody said, you guys have cheap chairs, which Try I mentioned. sitting next to him on an airplane. I mean, you have, but it's like. Those chairs well, are, I'm always too those chairs are for from restoration hardware. <laughs> Dude, um, not by the way, cheap. By the way, let me throw something in here because okay. Peter's asked me to do this for about a year, and this is the first time I've remembered. Cheers, mate. If you're listening to this, go over and watch it on YouTube and hit the. It's a bell. Bell. Hit the bell button. Hit the bell. Do you know about this? No, of course no, not. I, I didn't either. You press a bell, and then you get a notification that... Kyle, shut up. He's fucking laughing at me. Oh, this is so funny. I hate him so much. He, you, get, you press the bell, and then you get a notification that we've just uploaded a new podcast. Ah. That's, that's yeah. a good thing to do. The funny... Like, right? I'm, Did I get it right, Kyle? Thank on you. normal videos, people are like, smash that like button, hit the subscribe, push the bell, and hit all notifications. Force is like, there's a bell... Somewhere I, on I mean, a look, computer I screen. watch a lot of YouTube. I go down YouTube wormholes every other night. I didn't know that that's what no, the bell was either. for. I've seen yeah. it. I was scared. I literally, it. yeah, I had no idea. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. So thank Ep- you. Thank Epple you for saying that. I did the thing though. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you did it. I love you. Thanks. Epilet shark. Smash that like button. <laughs> now that's the walking shark that you were looking for. Correct. It was the epilet shark. Yeah. So it's like a three foot shark. Yeah, beautiful. Kyle, pull up a pic, would you? They're a little no- um, nocturnal. Australian epilet shark. So there's, there's a couple, there's, Five species in total, I believe. 
Um, but this was the Australian one. So it's the only one that's really common in the pet trade is this Australian one. That's the right one. Did you find one? In yeah, the, in I found the... three. three. Three of the five species. Super hard to find? Not really. Really easy to find. Our mission wasn't just to find them. It was to see if we could actually film the Australian species walking out of water, and we, we got one. Oh, oh it's nice. That, it's that that one, the, yeah. the one that walks over the rocks. Yeah, now, yeah. Now the I one that Rogan visual. was like freaking out about. Yeah, like, have yeah. you seen this shit? The shark's walking out of the water. Like, <laughs> it's yeah. pretty freaking cool. Uh, and that was your clip? Yeah, my clip. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was. That's very cool. So, so these beautiful animals. So these, there's one species that walks. All of them. So epaulet is a group of sharks, or also known as walking sharks. And then ah. I think you could look it up, Kyle. I think there's five species in total, and there's three in Papua New Guinea, one in Australia, and one in Indonesia, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Um, and so we we filmed uh, four actually the the one the Australian one, and then the three in Papua. And uh, then at the very end, we managed to capture the leopard epaulet, which. Type in leopard epaulette shark to see how beautiful this animal is. But we managed to capture this guy walking out of the water. And it was the first time it's ever been filmed. So oh, it's wow. pretty, pretty historical. Yeah. Is that one on social media anywhere? That the, the shark walking? Is that on your IG? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, right. is I, it? I, I must have posted it around the show. 